Okay, lesson one on uh, preparing a fish to print. Well, actually, this will be on printing a fish. So, um, I just scrub down the fish with salt, table salt, and water. And I just realized this fin is dry and it's also beat up. My friend didn't tell me about that, but of course he also said it's a five pound papillo, but as you can see, lucky if it's three pounds. So I'm gonna wet this paper. Wet this paper. Put paper under here so it doesn't get all wet. Just put the wet towel on to keep it from drying out. It already looks dry, so I'm probably gonna have fun with that tail. And as far as the rest of as for the rest of the fish, you wanna try to get all the liquid out. Especially by the nostril and the eye area. Right here. Probably gonna leave the eye in. Uh since this is my friend's fish, actually you get a nicer print without the eye. I wonder if I should yank it. Maybe I'll yank it. Actually, usually I leave the eye in for the leaves, but it's kind of hard. But... Lovely. Now my hands are going to smell like fish all night. Oh yeah! Woo! First it used to gross me out, but now actually used to it. Doesn't bother me. Nice and clean eye and then this fish. And you generally get a whole roll of paper towel next to me. And if you're printing it or pressing the paper down on it, and you can see wet spots. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. But if you can see it is wet, then it's still too wet to print for the type of ink that I use anyway and the type of paper. Last night when we were I was reading a book by Hiyama, it talks about ink and how sumi or carbon ink, which is the same thing, carbon uh India ink, um, is made up of powder, carbon powder, and the more fine the powder is the uh, more chances it'll bleed. So if you want an ink that doesn't bleed, you want to get that, that a powder that, uh, ink that has larger particles. Um, I'm guessing the the India ink that I use, the Speedball brand, has a lot of fine particles because it's pretty absorbent. As you can see, when I print, I get a really dark print. It's probably because the ink itself absorbs a lot. Uh, is fine and is absorbed a lot by the paper. First I thought maybe it was just the paper, but I think it's both the ink and the paper. And Hiyama's book goes into that. Selecting your paper and your ink. And I do want to try different types of paper. Um, they recommend for Gyotaku printing actually a thick but soft paper. Um, right now I'm using the thin and I think more on the rigid side paper. I, I'm, get, I'm, I'm thinking anyway. The paper that the Kozo paper and the the double cloud dragon Unru paper is thin and um, quite rigid. Might not be as thin as Thailand toilet paper. But then again, what is that thin? <laughs> so again, just cleaning up all the areas that tend to have water where the fin gathers. You also want to wipe underneath. And as this fish builds condensation, the fin is going to get all wet. And then when you go to um, hold the fin when you're printing it like this, and you're printing your paper and you and you let go, this hand will get all wet. And then you grab the paper and then you got fingerprints all over your paper. So I try to keep it nice and wet. Under, I mean, keep it nice and dry under the fins. Mm, looks like this fin is probably going to dry out a little also. I'm going to have to try to work fast with this fish. Um, Again, I try to wipe all underneath, and I go through, I don't know, 10, 12 pieces of paper towel minimum for a small fish like this. As the fish gets bigger, like an ulua, you can get close to probably using the whole thing, the whole roll of paper towels. And it looks like this fish is probably going to have to sit out for a little while. 
But I got the plumbers coming today because the toilets are acting up, so got some time, but I wanted to get started on prepping the fish. Mm. Just about dry and I can make it for now and then I'll have to come back again and dry it up some more. Hopefully that the plumbing guys don't interrupt my printing session. That's gonna suck. Try to get this done today. And probably what I'll do after this is I'll cut my paper. Um, I don't think I'll make a video of that. It's pretty basic cutting you know, different sizes of paper depending on uh, what size my print will be. And uh, later on I'll measure up the umilu, see how long it is, and get a piece of paper maybe for a single print, say maybe angle down like that. And then maybe also do a couple or a few or maybe even a bigger one see if I can get a double or a triple print, which is probably going to take time if I layer it. But if I have them swimming together, you know, then maybe I can get three in there without having to layer it. Layering is really hard because once you print this on the paper, then you have to cut out a, a trace out a pattern, take that to the paper, and then lay the paper again onto the fish so that uh, any place that the fish touches overlapping the other fish, um, it won't be printed because you got that stencil covering it. So, anyway, that's drying the fish, and after this, we'll go into, um, I guess, um, inking up the fish. <laughs> 